We stand on the shoulders of giants. It's June 10th, 2022. Today is my dad's birthday. Gregory Burl Leffler, born June 10th, 1952. The youngest of four boys, he grew up in Jacksonville, Illinois. Burl was a World War II veteran. Eva worked in the newspapers. Dad learned early on that he had to work. Work is a very important part of being a Leffler man. More importantly, Burl Leffler, his father, had polio. Early on, was paralyzed from the waist down after returning from the war and couldn't do the things he had done before. And this is what got Gregory to start learning about repairing and maintaining farm equipment, cars, building them, fixing them, racing them. At the end of the day, he knew that he had to do more with himself. That's why he went to Northern Illinois University. That's where he went, my, met my mother. At NIU, he took classes Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays so that he could work and likely have a little bit of fun when he wasn't doing the work. Now, when he graduated, the first job he took was with a company called Roadway. He worked in maintenance, started off working nights in the shop, managing mechanics, union mechanics. This is before deregulation. I spend a lot of time thinking and talking about deregulation. If you don't know a lot about it, it's something you should know in terms of understanding our current supply chain. Now, Gregory Leffler had four children. He had Joshua, Matthew, Jacqueline, and Outsource Fleet Services. You see, after spending time in the maintenance world, one of the best LTLs that has ever existed, Roadway, Dad spent some time at a company called Airborne, worked on a guy named Bill Simpson. And what Gregory Leffler did was help maintain the vehicles for that fleet. But he had the opportunity, after moving to Vernon Hills, Illinois, outside of Chicago, northern suburb, to start his own company. The company that approached him was a business called RPS, Roadway Package Systems. And RPS was the non-union version of Roadway. It was in the final mile delivery of parcels. That company was looking to outsource critical functions of their fleet services. And Dad, being very much a person who follows exactly what he says, made the company Outsource Fleet Services. Started in 1991, taking over a garage for RPS in Sacramento, California. Now, we were living in Vernon Hills at the time. He would drive. He would drive from Chicago to Sacramento. And he would do maintenance activities. For that company. Eventually, he grew and took over more shops, captured maintenance, providing the service as good or better than they could do themselves. And that is the business that Gregory Leffler ran and operated. And on weekends, when he was out in Sacramento or Los Angeles or other places, you might find him in a service truck doing repairs if a mechanic didn't show up for that day. Now, I loved my father's business, and I loved learning about it, but maintenance wasn't my thing. So I went off and went to law school, did some things there, but then I wanted to understand that business more. And so I joined up with my dad in 2012, and I got to learn about the business of maintenance, walking through those shops, meeting those mechanics and those service managers, and seeing the types of equipment that we were able to maintain for our fleet customers. Like the travel centers of old, and hello Libby, it's nice to see you too. Like the travel centers of old, you'd walk down, you'd see the competitors in the transportation space, the best LTLs, the best truckload, the best private fleets. And they were in my shop. We got to fix that. We got to work with them. It was amazing. It was amazing. And what I loved about working with my father was getting to know the people that he worked with. And I'm going to tag some of those folks in the comments here. Many of them don't use LinkedIn. They don't use Facebook. They don't use any of this technology stuff. But those that do, I will tag. And I hope you can chime in about a quick story about Gregory Burrell Leffler. In 2018, we sold that business. Gregory retired. A couple quick stories I'll tell you about them. When 9-11 happened, I was in high school and dad was in Los Angeles. Supposed to fly back that day. All flights were canceled. He rents a car and he drives. Oh, he drives nonstop, chewing coffee beans to keep himself awake. He, that's a thing he, he would do, and I'm sure anybody who knows him would be, yeah, that, that sounds like him. 
fleets all across the world, all across the country would call Greg and say, hey, I got this problem with the vendor. What can you do? What do you think I should do with this? Or here are pictures of an asset that I don't know what to do with. What should we, what should we look at for repairing? Or here's a campaign we're looking to do. If he could save you money, he was going to tell you how to do that. If he couldn't do it himself, he'd tell you the people that could work with you to help you solve that problem. I learned that from him. How do you help people solve problems? You link the right people together. This is a great day. 70 years. Oh my goodness. I remember when my father turned 50, he called all of us into a room and said, guys, my dad passed away when he was 50. So I want you to understand something. I am on borrowed time. Borrowed time. That's pretty heavy. And now with my own boys, I love to tell them often how I love them and how proud I am of them. Because I am. Oh, I'm so proud of my boys. But oh my goodness, how my heart melts when they say, Dad, I love you. I'm proud of you. Oh, so for Dad, I love you. And I am so proud of you. You have done something that very few people can do. You started a business for 25 years. It was profitable every year, I think, but one. Very few companies can talk about that. And you built relationships that transcend this industry, transcend the work that you do, because you were a partner and a friend for the people who trusted their equipment to you to maintain. So we'll be going out to do a little bit of a birthday celebration soon, but I wanted to make this video because I don't do enough of these as much as I used to. I've been very busy lately with my own two kids that I currently have and twins on the way. So June 10th, 2022, the 70th birthday of Gregory Burl Leffler. Happy birthday, dad. Let's have some fun. And Many more to come, many more to come.